To determine whether Na2SO3 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water, we'll use these rules here. So the first thing we need to do is this sodium sulfate. We need to know what reaction produced it, what neutralization reaction produced the sodium sulfate. So we have our sodium hydroxide and our sulfurous acid. These two react in a neutralization reaction, and we get our sodium sulfite in water. It's a neutralization reaction. So to figure it out with these rules, we need to know the strength of the base and the acid. This table will help us do that. Not a bad one to memorize. So we have sodium hydroxide right here. That's a strong base. Right SB above that. H2SO3. That's not showing up on our list of strong acids. It's not on our list of weak acids either, but it's certainly not a strong acid. This is a weak acid. So we're going to put a WA after that. And then we're going to put H2SO3 on our list of weak acids. So now we know the strength of each of these substances here. We can figure out whether Na2SO3 is going to be acetic, basic, or neutral in water. So looking at our rules, we have a strong base and it's a weak acid. So strong base and a weak acid. When these react and they neutralize each other to form this salt here, Na2SO3, the pH is going to be greater than 7. That means it's going to be alkaline or basic. So when we put Na2SO3 in water, we end up with a basic or alkaline solution. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.